Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 Review, a refined foldable in search of a purpose. An industry-defining foldable that offers improved hardware, optimized software, and a few surprises, like S Pen Stylus support and water resistance, on top of a lower price tag than its predecessor. It may not have been the first but Samsung has managed to position itself as the category-defining brand when it comes to foldables, with its latest Galaxy Z Fold 3 likely to serve as the standard that similarly styled rivals will be measured against, at least until the Fold 4 arrives. The Z Fold 3 aims to meet expectations on three fronts, as a worthwhile refinement of the phone-to-tablet foldables that the company has produced so far, as a platform on which Samsung can test and implement its latest and greatest technologies, and as a representation of foldable innovation in general, serving as an indicator of how far the technology, and the associated costs, have matured, all in a relatively short time. There was a brief moment where Samsung's foldable future nearly didn't make it out of the gate. The original Galaxy Fold was a groundbreaking piece of consumer tech, to be sure, but it also suffered from some pretty significant engineering and build quality issues, most of which weren't much of a surprise to those with an appreciation for just how technically complex creating one of the first consumer-ready foldables must have been. In his review, Tech Advisors, then Consumer Tech Editor, Henry Burrell described the phone as an aspirational mess, which still feels gapped, even with the hindsight of the Fold line's evolution. Three years on and the anatomy of the original Fold persists in this fourth iteration, but it's littered with signs of the lessons Samsung has learned along the way. You're still getting a wedge-shaped, book-style, vertically folding form factor, dressed with an external cover display and an expansive internal screen, all housed in what Samsung has branded armor aluminium, or aluminum to our stateside readers. Durability is one of this generation's biggest upgrades, with a blend of polished and brushed aluminium alloy, surrounding the displays and stein of the phone's all-important hinge. While no mechanical issues emerged in over a month of testing, the teardrop silhouette of the Fold 3 when closed, formed in the negative space created by the range's ongoing inability to truly close flat, did welcome dust and lint that accumulated right around the most likely point of ingress, needing to be wiped off each time it was unfolded, after sitting in a pocket for more than a few minutes. Speaking of unfolding, the hinge mechanism is reassuringly sturdy, instilling confidence with regards to long-term reliability, as well as being able to remain fixed at any point through its range of motion. Some knurling or texturing for added grip along the frame at the seam line would make opening up the Fold 3 significantly easier and far less precarious, though. Using the Fold is a tale of two screens, the tall, narrow 6.2 and 25.9 cover display on the outer face, which most closely portrays a traditional smartphone experience, even if it is oddly tall and thin, and the titular 7.6 and folding main display that for the first few times you open and close the Fold 3, defies expectations as you watch pixels curve in on one another. At the phone's launch, Samsung claimed that Fold owners used that cover display about as much as its main screen, so upgrading the refresh rate to a consistent 120Hz across both panels helps with the sense of seamlessness when transitioning between the two. Samsung's also worked to improve the hardware on offer, with a main panel that's reportedly 29% brighter than the Z Fold 2S equivalent and also apparently 80% more durable. In real-world use, I still wasn't brazen enough to push a fingernail into it to see if I left a mark, but it did provide greater peace of mind for what is still unquestionably one of the most vulnerable components on an expensive device. Perhaps one of the most important questions is, can you see or feel in the fold line running down the center of the Fold 3S main display? In a word, yes, but it isn't a debilitating shortcoming, as some might assume, so much as an inherent quirk of the current state of folding display technology. As if sticking a folding screen on a phone wasn't enough of a challenge, Samsung has also upped the ante with the Z Fold 3S panel by adding its first ever under display camera, more on that later, and implementing S Pen support too, making it the most versatile display on a consumer mobile device right now, by quite a margin.
while Samsung's signature stylus is an optional extra, and you need a special fold edition variant with a softer, sprung nib to use on the Fold 3S display, it makes for a strong pairing with the Foldable's expanded canvas. While running on Samsung's own take of Android 11, with the promise of years of subsequent updates, from the outset, One UI version 3.1.1 comes with optimizations specific to the Fold experience. You'll still find a plethora of both Google and Samsung apps preloaded on the Fold 3, with only light overlap, while extras from both sides of the fence, such as Node and Calculator apps, are available from their respective app stores, letting you pick and choose, as needed. It's more about how the apps you like to use are utilized across the Fold's two displays that govern whether this form factor is right for your needs, and Samsung's worked hard to equip its latest foldable with a host of features designed to maximize such functionality. Beyond obvious inclusions, like one-handed mode and, when using the main display, an optional split keyboard for more convenient two-handed typing, cover screen mirroring lets you choose whether your home screen layout remains consistent across both displays or whether you want independent layouts for the two discrete use cases they serve. Unlike the S21 range, there's no regional chipset split with the Fold 3, meaning wherever you pick one up, you're getting a device powered by Qualcomm's top-tier Snapdragon 888 SoC and 12GB of RAM, paired with either 256GB or 512GB of fast UFS 3.1 storage. Even with more demanding hardware requirements, including that 120Hz refresh rate across bulk displays, compared to rivals, Benchmarking places the Fold 3 in step with equivalent devices, like the Huawei Mate X2 and other, more conventional, high-performance phones, such as Realme's GT and Samsung's own Galaxy S21. With a body that resembles two phones welded together, there are actually two cells, one nestled on either side of the hinge mechanism, powering the Fold 3 adding up to 4,400 mAh in total, marginally smaller than the full 2S capacity. Thankfully, you still have only one USB-C port to contend with, affixed to the right half of the fold, when open, which supports Samsung's 25W fast charging, along with a 211W wireless charging and 4.5W reverse wireless charging. Dunt wireless power share, this feature is ideal for topping up compatible true wireless headphones or the company's latest Galaxy Watch 4, for example. Unlike the Huawei Mate X2, which launched with the brand's best phone cameras to date, the Galaxy Fold 3 doesn't try to go all out in the same fashion, instead offering up a trio of 12MP rear sensors that capture imagery comparable to the likes of the S21, albeit with a smarter, optically stabilized 2X telephoto snapper in place of the S21 S21 Plus S64 MP sensor. There's an impressive confidence to the three sensors on the back of the Fold 3, with color accuracy and low light performance that's surprisingly comparable across the board. Shots feature Samsung's signature color vibrancy and more extreme contrast, compared to camera kings like Apple and Google, which at the flagship level, might be seen as a comparative lack of dynamic range, but images are consistent and usable to a degree that other high-end phones don't always match. While the cover display also houses a 10MP front-facing camera, which takes decent selfies with nice color reproduction, although perhaps with a touch too much over-sharpening, Samsung decided that making a folding display with S Pen support wasn't challenging enough, deciding to use it as the stage on which they'd also debut their first under-display camera on a phone too. While the technical feat itself is impressive, the general consensus is that it would have been better if Samsung hadn't bothered. The idea of an under-display camera is to hide the black cutout that in-display cameras usually create behind a mesh of pixels, but the Fold 3S implementation has the opposite effect.